Hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostest 8 second gaming and in today's video we're going to be breaking down everything that we know about season 14 because we're getting the season from the Outland story pretty soon here and people are excited for the new season so we're going to be breaking down everything that we know about the new legend coming, some of the lore behind her, the care package weapon rotation, the ranked map rotation, and the reactive skin in the battle pass. But guys, with a new season comes a brand new rank grind and if you're looking to put yourself in the best position to hit a new peak rank then you need to check out the Game Leap website right now. Over there, we have top level coaches creating the best guides and courses all to make you a top level Apex player. We have legend guides, gun guides, VOD reviews, and much more, and those courses are site exclusive, so you will not find them anywhere else. So click the link in the description, pick yourself up a membership, or I'll un-Kentucky fry your chicken. But okay, jumping into our first thing here, we're going to be talking about the new legend Vantage, and we've covered Vantage a few times on the channel already so I don't really want to talk about her abilities in this video because we already have a very in-depth video breaking all that down. So if you guys are interested in seeing her abilities, check that one out after this one. What I am going to talk about though is what seems to be her role on a team because her ability seems super interesting and it seems like she's going to be a character that can be a secondary fragger or a support character. Typically in Apex, characters really only fit one role. There are actually only a handful of characters that can fit multiple different roles on a team. But from the looks of her abilities, it seems like Vantage will be able to play either support or secondary fragger because she's going to have the ability to scout out teams, see their legends, see their armor, and then she's also going to be able to be giving her teammates damage buffs with her ultimate. So it seems like you could play her as a support in the backline using your ultimate to boost your damage for your teammates while they run in, or you could use her as a secondary fragger, getting the damage buff and then jumping into the fight with your tactical and then use it yourself. Now I do understand that people are a little bit upset that we're not getting a dedicated support character like Lifeline or Lobo in the game, but I think Vantage will be a really cool unique addition that won't be game breaking but will fit in a really cool specific team comp. But now we also know a little bit more about Vantage's lore. Respawn has been putting a few things up on Twitter including a voice recording that explains a little bit more about her being a prisoner. Now for some people you may have caught on that this is Mirage's voice actor in the recording, but don't be fooled it's not Mirage. Mirage, it's just the voice actor. He's played other NPCs in the past in other stories from the Outlands and teasers. He's just a good voice actor and they're using him for that as well. But in the recording also we hear about it being a prisoner planet and it only has two people on it. So it seems like Vantage and her mom are the only two people there. And from the other teasers that they released with her diary pages, it seems like she could have actually been born on that planet. That planet being Pagos. And in those diary pages we learn about her being a hunter and her mom watching over her as she grows up. So it lends more credibility to her being born there and her not knowing anything else outside of that. So potentially the recording is her trying to escape the planet, them sending somebody to stop her, she overpowers them, takes their ship, leaves, and then the syndicate catches her and puts her into the Apex games. That's my theory on this thing, but you know, let me know your theory in the comments down below. Until we get the stories from the Outlands video on her though, that's all we really know about her right now, so let's move into the care package guns because everybody likes care package weapons. And next season we are getting the scout out of the care package. I know a lot of people want the Volt out of the care package because the Volt was a much more popular weapon, but the scout's been in there for its three seasons, so it is coming out. Now the gun that will be replacing it is more than likely the bow check bow. This bow on release was extremely broken. It's good right now, but it's nothing compared to what it was. And it would be a fantastic care package weapon if they put it back to that state. And with you being able to retrieve arrows, it might actually be the first care package gun that you could technically sustain the ammo for it. And it would also kind of make sense with the season, it being about hunters because vantage and you know hunters use bows so you know maybe it makes sense and speaking of the theme of the season and the battle pass the reactive skin for the battle pass isn't known but we can really kind of infer a little bit of information typically when they make the reactive skin they like to theme it around the battle pass and kind of the entire season that's why with newcastle in this season it was all kind of knights themed and that's why they made it the spitfire because dragons and knights and stuff and dragons and spit fire. So with the next season being about hunters and that kind of thing, it would make sense that we're getting something for either a marksman rifle or a sniper rifle because Vantage is very big on those sniper rifles. If it is a sniper rifle, my guess would probably be the Sentinel because her ultimate was using the Sentinel as a placeholder, so they might kind of put two and two together and just make it that. Or if it's a marksman rifle, maybe the triple take will get it because
because the triple take's been in the game since the start and it hasn't gotten a reactive skin, but the 3030 is also very popular and people might want that. But to top this video off guys, let's talk about the ranked map rotation because people want to probably get in gear for that. And we know the first map that we're going to be shipping off to is Kinged Canyon. That map is receiving some changes with Skulltown coming back, and we all know that Respawn always makes the map with the changes the first one in the ranked rotation, so Kings Canyon is for sure coming back in the ranked runs. But the second one is a little bit more unknown. This season we had Stormpoint and World's Edge, so it makes sense that Olympus would be the next map because we haven't seen it, but the last time we did see Olympus it was also with Kings Canyon, so they might try to swap up the rotation a little bit and make it so it's maybe Kings Canyon and then World's Edge because World's Edge is very popular for ranked, but they could also just throw Olympus in. So it was probably either World's Edge because of its popularity or Olympus because we haven't seen it. But that is all we really know for season 14, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did and you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Apex Legends tips, tricks, and news, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. Once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming and I will see you in the next one.